everyone bouncing around on the stage and getting excited about, about poetry and performance of every kind I get. I get absolutely Oh dear me. Um, that was fantastic everyone, I'm so glad you came along. I'm so glad that we've got this massive diversity of voices in the room tonight. I'm just going to roll on because we're packing them in and we've still got loads still to hear. Um, your next performer is Andrew Ferguson, he's from a group called Writers Block. They're another Edinburgh based writers group. They do great work supporting grassroots words and stories um, and they've been a great support for Indie Fingers right at our beginning as well. So please give a big hand to Andrew Ferguson. And I quote, don't smell fairy cakes and poetry, smell like a bajillionaire playboy. <laughs> I don't want to smell like a bajillionaire playboy. It sounds like smelling like an oligarch sandpit of a potentate's jockstrap. <laughs> also, I don't think my poetry smells like fairy cakes, not into vanilla. It doesn't come sugar coated. I do want my poetry to smell like the blaziness of ozone in a gathering storm. Like the salt crunch of a tidal wave as it rolls for the coast. Like a river in spate soured with mud from the mountainside. Like ice underfoot with a blizzard approaching. Like a blast furnace with no health and safety equipment. Like the noon sun on the asphalt by an undiscovered accident. Like the oak splinter and cordite groan of a twenty cannon broadside. Like the village at dusk with a bull loose in the streets. Like the steel barrel of a gun in the ribs. Like the slap of a brunette and the punch of a blonde washed down with a slug of whiskey. My poetry comes with no artificial preservatives and the following flavours, sour, sweet and sour, salt and chilli. <coughs> no fairy cakes, no vanilla. It will smell like the tracks of my tears, like the sweat of my brow, like the flesh of my flesh, like yin, yang, feng and shui, alpha, omega, the wind in the northern west. Like an eye for an eye, like a truth for a truth, like a rending of veil, like a rushing of winds, and it will not smell of fairy cakes. Unless I decide it will smell of fairy cakes, in which case I will challenge any advertising executive for my right to write of men fairy cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that was a total overreaction to an ironic advertising <laughs> campaign. <laughs> uh, politics now, this is uh, called Scotland <coughs> as an Xbox game. Yes, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only problem is I've never played an Xbox game, so shit. <laughs> you start in a dark screen, a void. No enlightenment for several miles. Groping towards a white X, dimly seen, with no sense of yourself. Kill the English knight with your bare hands and your wallace. Green fields and rivers of blood are rolled in front of you. Eventually, if you make it through the hack and slash, you're into the strategy game. The silicon chip on both shoulders making you seem bigger than you are to your enemies at court. Before you know it, you're making unlikely alliances and sacrificing queens on the multiplayer function and credibility points to get from London. The next levels are disappointing. The Enlightenment flares past like a firework, then endless foreign wars, grim landscapes, games of football played in rain that looks like analog interference. Your dubious weapons of bitterness and later weapons of bitterness only useful against Scottish opponents. <laughs> In the end, you have to re-terraform, but your parliament's permanently over budget, and you can never stick enough wind farms in the North Sea to stop your populist moaning. <laughs> it may just be me, but there seems to be an inbuilt advantage in using American English. No one has made it yet to the next level. <laughs> I'm not from Craig Miller, I'm from Fife, from, I uh, grew up in Glenrothes, um, it's a town of roundabouts, it's a bit like Milton Keynes with a different accent. 
Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is called November Rain, which is a really shit title for a poem. I didn't really mean to name it after Guns N' Roses song. Uh, November Rain. On the way to work, the usual suspects. Woman and dog, boy and bike, young man searching a face. Broke tooth of a single tower block, bisects a charcoal drawing of sky and land. In the distance, a man is shouting down his mobile phone. The scent of decay, pungent, prolonged as a fine wine. I ready myself to reach for life again, grab it by the balls. Glasgow statues. Someone is necklace Donald Dewar with a Costa Brava sombrero. <laughs> its centre unravelling like a straw kebab. He peers into the distance, searching for something. Sobriety, perhaps. In the city chambers, the all of them enveloping marble stuns even the green jacketed officers into museum whispers. It is all surely as the city fathers intended. I, I felt I couldn't come to Craig Miller and not, uh, not read a poem about Morningside. Throw my book. So this is called Morning. This is art for an anthology of yet to be different postcards. Morningside. The Grand Dame sits, scone in hand. Beside her stiffer sisters, Merchiston and Grange. Strange, but with all these creative Royal Edinburgh people on her hair, I suspect her of a dark side. Beneath her fur coat, she wears a jet black basque. <laughs> with a Brazilian opening soon near her holy corner. No wonder she smiles behind the scorn. <laughs> It's a magic bullet of sunlight on the fenders and fins as you, yes you, take it to the bridge at 110. In a speeded up movie, no freeze frames of a technicolor time, your lifetime just, but baby, you were young then with everyone who's slowly to pass. It's a function, the form, it's the rhythm, the blues, it's the meat of the beat that you eat. Don't you just want to be there, man? Don't you just want to hit the left rail of the bridge at 110? Just miss the truck's left front wheel. Cut right sharply, pull out to pass. Cut back in line with the slow cars. It's damn, the slow cars that will always be. It's a function of form. It's the rhythm of blues. It's the meat of the beat that you eat. Drink in that gasoline, baby. Take it to the bridge at 110. Your heartbeat will lack of rhythm. The blues and reds of your plaid shirt are blurred. Magic bullet of light on the bridge rail. Never. Hesitate. Yeah, head on into the shadow of the unslowing truck, leave nothing more than a cloud of dust. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 